There's been more than enough controversy over Epic Games steamrolling, pun intended, acquisitions of exclusivity among the game development world. Nearly every genre of game has in some form been bought out to launch on the new platform, and strategy games are no exception. Phoenix Point, the spiritual successor to XCOM, was one of the first to cave, leaving most of the backer-funded community in a state of riot. You can add another strategy game to that list. Ubisoft announced on Friday that upcoming strategy game Anno 1800 is now an Epic Games and Uplay exclusive. The primary reason given is both straightforward and simple. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 sold very well on Epic. So now they want to get their next release, and probably every release thereafter, on the same platform in the hope that it drives sales as well. As expected, social media is in an uproar about it. The usual statements of I'm canceling my pre-order or way to cop out Ubisoft are everywhere. And from a quick glance at just the title of the handful of articles the reader is choosing to base this on, this sure seems like some big bag of BS to me too. That is, until you actually read the Ubisoft announcement and see their FAQ on the matter, your opinion might change a little bit. First, not only will Ubisoft and Epic honor all Steam pre-orders of Anno 1800, they are still allowing pre-orders on Steam right up until the April 16th release date, something I don't think we've seen so far with Epic acquisitions. Take it a step further, Steam copies of Anno will always remain on the Steam platform and receive all of the same content, updates, and patches that their Epic and Uplay counterparts will enjoy for the life of the game. When it comes to multiplayer for Anno, all three platforms will work together seamlessly as that aspect of the game is handled through Uplay regardless of where you bought it. The situation deviates itself a bit from previous Epic acquisitions, and it's a pretty brilliant business strategy move on the part of Ubisoft. Think about it this way. Ubisoft most likely got a pretty big buyout to make Anno 1800 Epic exclusive. Boom. Money. The gaming community is now emotionally involved, and emotions tend to fuel sales. Boom. Money. Now the gaming community has three different platforms to choose to buy from. Steam-only fans are now much more likely to pre-order the game to make sure their copy stays on Steam. Boom. Money. The bandwagon Epic Gamers can now shove it to Steam and pre-order or buy the game post-launch on Epic. Boom. Money. Since all the Anos are already on Uplay, there's always been the incentive to just buy it there anytime, anyway. But now post-release, if you choose to buy the game but you aren't an Epic type of person, your only option is to buy it on Uplay. This move could push more sales to the Ubisoft platform, which doesn't have to pay the sort of fees like they would on Steam or Epic. Boom. Money. This is also a good PR move on behalf of the game and the company. Metro Exodus's move to Epic resulted in near violence and rage as the betrayal was sudden, deep, and final. Ubisoft's handling of Anno's Epic switchover is one of a smoother transition to a new system. Keeping pre-orders open to Steam until release just opens the situation to men better than a quick and brutal switchover. Whether for the money or a smart game dev publisher PR strategy, Ubisoft's move over to Epic is not something anyone should be too surprised on. Having a successful game already on Epic is of course going to influence the developer or the publisher's release of any future games on that storefront. Do I like it? Nope, for sure don't. I think what Epic is doing is more destructive than anything else at the moment. Is there anything we can actually do to change their minds? Nope, sure isn't. All we can do is talk with our wallets. Except this time, instead of not buying the game like tradition has always played it, we can choose where we want to purchase our copy of Anno 1800 and show them that buying on Epic isn't going to fly with this community. Hopefully that cleared up the mess up a little bit and you learned that it's not so cut and dry with this whole situation. Anno 1800 is still shaping up to be one heck of a game no matter what platform it releases on, and if you want to see what I love so much about the beta, watch to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, if you liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel that way you're always up to date on videos. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.